received the head of your cat. Yes, the caller said, we have received the head of your cat, and we're fixing to have tests run on it. And here's what happened. Pretzel, the Smith's beloved cat, was dying and, sad to say, had to be put to sleep. Chris Smith said Pretzel seriously bit his wife and daughter when they took him to the vet. The veterinarian thought it best to have the cat checked for rabies and sent the remains to the Harris County Animal Control and Rabies Center. It was from there that someone made that call on Valentine's Day saying, and I quote again, we have received the head of your cat and we're fixing to run a test on it. While Chris Smith couldn't believe that someone could be this insensitive, neither could his wife. What did your wife say when, when they told her that? She was speechless. She was, her stomach was in knots. It's, this was an yeah. animal she had had for nine years. Did she freak out? Basically, yes. When I read the letter Smith wrote me about this, I was upset too. I went right over to the Harris County Animal Control Center where a lot of animals are awaiting their destiny, waiting to be adopted and given a good home. Well, I couldn't believe someone would make this kind of phone call. Is this their policy? Do they always tell pet owners like this? Well, I talked to the director of Harris County Animal Center, Dr. Dawn Blackmore. Is that the regular procedure? No, sir, it's not. We don't want to bother people with this information, and we don't normally call them and let them know that we have the head or any part of the animal for testing. And I would like to take this opportunity to really apologize to her and her family over this. It was a poor judgment call on my employee's part to do that. She had called to get some additional information on a bike case and should have never even brought up that the cat was here for testing. Well, whether or not you're an animal lover, you can understand how the Smiths felt when someone said they had their cat's head and was ready to do tests. That has to be one of the most insensitive statements anyone could make. At least the Harris County Animal Control has a director like Dr. Don Blackmore who seems to be compassionate. Marvin Zendler, Eyewitness News. Okay. All yeah. kinds of stories and stories and stories. That's and true. Never, never quits, doesn't Always never have quits. a good one. Thank you, Marvin. Well, still ahead on Eyewitness News.